Hello my beautiful friend and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to share with you some of my tips to lose weight. As you know, I've had some hormonal imbalances last year and those caused super fast weight gain and made it very difficult to lose the extra pounds. It's been quite a discovery journey for me, but in it I've been able to accumulate a lot of tips for a healthy weight management and weight loss. So if you'd like to hear about some of those tricks, please keep watching. If you've been with me during the time I was testing videos, then you've seen the one with tips to control hunger. There are some amazing tricks in that video that I won't repeat today so I can keep this content fresh, but I have linked it below if you want to catch up and add those tips on top of what I'm sharing today so you leave your screen with a lot of ideas. Now, I've tried a lot of different things in my attempt to gain control over my weight, and it's definitely been a lot harder for me than it might be for most ladies my age because of the health issue. But I have been persistent and I managed to lose about 10 pounds so far. So today I'll share only what I've seen work and what actually made a difference for me. Tweet using hashtag AskAlexandraP if you have comments, other tips, or questions about my weight loss. One of the first things I did was to make sure that I no longer skip meals. I noticed that if I skip a meal, I get uncontrollably hungry and end up almost always making really bad food choices that I regret later. So nowadays, I typically start the day with a little feta cheese omelet, maybe a side of turkey bacon and some avocado, and definitely fresh veggies. It takes me like 10 minutes to make it, but it's delicious. If I happen to snack on stuff like almonds or popcorn, I no longer eat straight out of the bag because I can never stop that way. I mean, it's right there in my hand. So what I do is I take a standard serving out of the package, about a fistful, put that snack inside a small bowl or a plate and I eat off that instead. That allows me to indulge in the snack but still control the amount that I eat. I also really cut down my eating in front of the TV because we have a tendency to just eat so mindlessly. We don't pay attention to how much we take in. Through my process, I actually realized that watching TV makes me hungry, so I even cut my TV time in half. I also don't really order dessert at restaurants anymore either, unless it can be shared with someone. I have very little self-control if food's in front of me. I mean, I will just crush it. Recently, I've retrained my mind to start liking dark chocolate. Don't get me wrong, I always prefer milk, white, chocolate, maybe a little bit of caramel in it. But that's not exactly the healthiest. And it wasn't easy switching my mindset. There was no way of really getting myself to love the dark, more bitter chocolate. But I knew that in order to get healthier and drop the weight, I had to dive into the darkness. So the only way to get myself to like it was to literally make it the only sweet available in the house. Fruit typically makes me hungrier, so I actually don't keep a lot of fruit in the house. So with that said, if I wanted something sweet, I had no choice but to eat dark chocolate because it was the only thing available. And you know, after about two, three weeks, it really started growing on me and now it's my dessert of choice. I like these two brands from Trader Joe's. I only have one of these, so this is the only one that I'm going to show you. And then the second one um, is this. You can see that I've been devouring them. And they're really cute, actually. They have different flavors. Yummy. Nowadays, I also cut my food in smaller bites and I choose to eat a little slower, which gives my stomach plenty of time to start digesting and send the message to the brain that I'm full. If we eat fast, we tend to eat more because not enough time was given to the brain to get that message, so we will tend to overeat. Now, if you love going to the movies but hate yourself afterwards because you picked out on all the bad calorie stuff crap they sell there, then you will appreciate this next tip. My husband and I are total movie buffs. We try to go to the movies every week, once a week at least. A couple of things I do when we go. I no longer eat from the popcorn bag like this. I don't reach over and eat from his anymore. That's done. Instead, I take a napkin, get a serving of popcorn from the bag, put it inside my napkin, and just nibble from that slowly. This allows me to better portion control and I limit the amount of times I get popcorn from the bag to three. I also bring with me some carrots, berries, nuts, almonds, and dark chocolate and actually get a bottle of water from home and I put some sliced fruit in it because the acid from the fruit will help me not crave 
of soda so much. No movie is a real experience without munching. So I can enjoy myself and be happy watching my movie without feeling bad. Another thing I do is I try to keep snacking to a minimum actually and that's really worked for me. I noticed that when I snack in between meals, I'm actually more hungry which is very ironic. What I think really helped me lose weight while eating and feeling healthy has been my daily intake of vitamins. Part of my recovery includes a cocktail of vitamins that I have to take daily because my body for some reason can't naturally absorb some of the vitamins from foods and such. So I recommend doing your yearly exam and finding out what your body needs. It's possible that you may eat more because your body is searching for certain nutrients. I really recommend knowing what your body needs though and not assuming you should take certain vitamins. I see a lot of girls doing that and I really don't think that's the right route. If you're taking allergy medication, I also think you should have those looked at. Some antihistamines, like the ones you'll find in many of the most popular allergy brands on the market, can block your immune system's own histamines, which play a role in appetite and weight loss. So it might just be that you're gaining or you're not really losing weight because you're on allergy medications. Allergy shots and certain diet adjustments could be your alternatives. So see a doctor. I also eat when I'm stressed and actually overeating in response to stress is very common and that also includes the guilt we get from eating bad which makes us eat more. Somehow there's always something stressful happening around us. You know the saying, it's always something. So one of the things that I do is that I practice mindfulness and relaxation and that has been a huge factor in my weight loss. In one of my past videos, I shared with you the Brain app. That's literally what I use just about on a daily basis. And the meditations I like to do are positive mood boost, stress reduction, and reduce anxiety. I've also been obsessed with my jawbone ever since I got it because it has really helped me pay attention to my sleeping patterns. When we're tired, we tend to eat more and gain weight. So nowadays, even though I work a lot and very rarely get more than six hours of sleep, I at least try to go to bed around the same time and my job won't helps with that. I typically go to bed around midnight and wake up around 5, 5.30ish. I like to make the room pitch black, completely silence the phones and turn them face down so they don't light up the room at night. And I keep the temperature around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit so it's cool. Sleeping in slightly cooler temperatures is a great way to force your body to heat itself up so you actually burn calories while keeping yourself warm. Cooler temps in general promote a better night's sleep anyway so you wake up more refreshed which helps your weight loss. Now this video is going to launch on Thursday, February 19th in the morning Pacific time so you still have 10 more hours to actually enter in the giveaway and one of the prizes is a jawbone so you can track your sleep too. The video announcing the giveaway, the prizes and how to enter is linked below so good luck. In this week's email, I sent you 15 plus ideas for healthy recipes, snacks, juices, and smoothies, and I hope you will enjoy them. If this video gave you some good ideas, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get weekly videos with ideas and inspiration on self-growth, relationships, beauty, and career, which are the topics I make videos in. That's it for today, everybody. I wish you the best of luck with any weight management or weight loss that you may be looking into. I can't wait to see you next week. I love you and appreciate you for being here. Thank you very much for that and I'll see you soon.